For centuries, there have been legends circulating about the existence of lost cities hidden deep within the Amazon jungle. One of the most well-known stories is that of El Dorado, a city made of gold that lured many explorers far beyond the edge of the known map, and many of these adventurers never returned home. In fact, the Amazon is so vast that someone could enter from its western edge and walk straight for 2,000 miles to the east without ever emerging from under the dense canopy. Even in the 20th century, people were still searching for these fabled cities. Percy Fawcett, a British explorer, believed that he was on the trail of the lost city of Z, hidden deep in the uncharted Mato Grosso region of Brazil. Despite failing in his first two attempts, Fawcett remained convinced of its existence and secured funding for a third mission. In 1925, at the age of 57, he and his team set out from Rio de Janeiro, stopping at the remote Amazonian outpost of Cuiaba to purchase pack animals and hire native guides. Their journey was filled with obstacles, including thick undergrowth, piranha-infested rivers and unfriendly native tribes. Ultimately, Fawcett and his team vanished into the jungle, adding yet another unfinished chapter to a tale that had been unfolding for over 600 years. Fawcett was not the only one to fall victim to the allure of these lost cities, as many others before and after him have dared to set out in search of these legendary places. Back in 1541, the Spanish explorer Francisco Orleana became the first European to cross the length of South America from west to east along the Amazon River. According to his accounts, he came across sprawling towns and cities adorned with roads, impressive monuments and well-tended fields. However, when other explorers ventured into the Amazon, nearly a century later, they failed to discover any traces of these wonders. In fact, the prevailing belief among archaeologists was that Orleana had fabricated these tales. For many years, the prevailing assumption amongst experts was that the Amazon was an unsuitable habitat for human life to flourish. The region was deemed too inhospitable, with poor soil unsuitable for crops and rife with dangerous predators and venomous creatures. Moreover, it was deemed too far from the Bering Straits to have attracted early human settlement. Therefore, it was commonly accepted that humans had not made their way into the Amazon until around a thousand years ago. This paradigm is now undergoing a seismic shift, and the primary catalyst for this change is the unfortunate deforestation of the Amazon by loggers and farmers. But from the ashes of the cleared jungle has arisen remarkable and expansive ruins that must have once housed immense populations. Once these sites began to be unveiled, scientists started using another technique to scan the dense and remote forest canopy, a non-destructive technology called LIDAR. LIDAR works by emitting pulsing laser light, which travels to the ground and reflects off of buildings and tree branches. The sensor records the energy of the reflected light, and the system calculates the distance traveled based on the time it takes for the light to travel to the ground and back. This distance is then converted into elevation data, digitally mapping the area. This system is mounted on helicopters or planes that fly over and can digitally remove the forest canopy to uncover the ancient ruins of the vast urban settlements. Thanks to this remarkable technology, archaeologists have been able to penetrate the dense forest and unveil a vast array of previously unknown structures and settlements all across Brazil and other Amazonian countries ranging from the ancient Casarabi culture in modern-day Bolivia to the magnificent Inca cities perched high in the Peruvian Andes and even thousands of ancient henges and earthworks that may have even been constructed by the mysterious Olmec civilization, famed for their imposing helmeted statues. So if we know that civilizations were there, then what happened to Francisco Orleana's account of bustling towns and cities in the Amazon? And why did subsequent explorers fail to find any trace of them? The answer is tragic, and it lies in the outbreak of smallpox. Unknowingly brought by Francisco and his team, the disease ravaged the local population, which had no natural immunity, and caused the peoples of the Amazon to be decimated. The cities and towns were depopulated, and within just 50 years they had been swallowed up by the jungle, and were no longer visible to subsequent explorers. It is estimated that a population of around 20 million people was virtually eradicated within a generation. The question arises, how did these people feed a population of such immense size in the Amazon, which is notorious for having poor soil for growing crops due to the heavy rainfall washing out the nutrients? The ingenious solution that these people came up with 
was to create their own type of soil known as Terra Preta. This is also known as Amazonian Dark Earth. This man-made soil is thousands of years old and contains microbes not found in the surrounding soil of the rainforest. It is based on biochar, a form of charcoal made by burning organic material in a low oxygen environment, but it is still unknown to this day how the microbial properties were added. A small amount of ancient terra preta can be added to barren soil today and the soil will become fertile. Although the exact process used to make it remains somewhat of a mystery, it is believed to involve the form of composting and wet burning process. The development of this remarkable substance shows that not only were the human civilization surviving in this harsh environment, but it also shows that there was science in the Amazon thousands of years ago, something that would only have been possible with a structured and complex society. The Amazon rainforest is a truly enormous expanse that is hard to comprehend, covering over 7 million square kilometers. Despite this vast size, much of the rainforest, around 5.5 million square kilometers, remains largely untouched due to its impenetrable vegetation. Considering the remarkable discoveries that have been made in the small fraction of the Amazon that has been surveyed, it is tantalizing to imagine what incredible wonders could lie hidden in the vast unexplored reaches of this extraordinary rainforest.